Hello, we're back after one year. <laughs> uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming around, so we did the corned beef, we did the corned beef hash. Now today we're gonna do the cold cannon, Irish cold cannon mashed potato. With a twist. And the twist is right here. This is brezaula, or how they call it here in America, beef prosciutto or Bündnerfleisch in Switzerland. We need just potatoes. These are eight russets, peeled and cut into small pieces. One cabbage, scallion or spring onions, little bit of garlic powder, some, that's also a twist, some Guinness, pepper and lots and lots of Irish butter. And then I have here one cup of milk mixed with cream. So this is gonna get smooth. Let's cook the potatoes. Oh my goodness, this is the cabbage of, from hell. <laughs> Seriously. These things here, you have to cut them out. You don't want that. So you just get them out of there. I got the toughest cabbage in the shop today from the looks of it. It's driving me crazy. Okay, there. Put this in a container. There. You need a good bundle of spring onions. Cut this off, of course. Just cut them in small pieces like this. Don't make them too small. It's actually good to have some chunky pieces for this mashed potato dish. There you go. Perfect. We'll just put that like this. Again, that will be simply added to the mashed. This is why you gotta be careful with the salt because this meat is salty and you do not want to have it over salted. So salt is probably not necessary. I'm just gonna add a little bit of, of um, garlic powder. All right, now we put a whole bunch of butter in here. Lots of butter. And now we're adding the spring onions. It gets a nice flavor. And then slowly we add the milk and the cream. That's about as much as I put, but if you don't have enough of that, you can always add later. Now this needs to be stirred. So make sure this is on low because obviously this is milk and you don't want this to cook. Okay, we lost the sound on our camera, so we have to go on my phone. It is what it is, guys. It's whatever you want. There are many ways to stump mashed potatoes, but I like it a little bit, um, you know, uh, chunky. But anyhow, we can use a blender later if it needs to be softer. Now we're gonna cook the cabbage. Okay, now butter, 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 more butter, and in goes the cabbage. You could also blanch it if you want, and then add it later, but I like to actually saute it. I'm gonna add the meat. Again, we have plenty here. That should be enough. So, like that. And now, we'll give it a stir. Mix it nicely together. Like, as I said, the air-dried meat or the beef prosciutto, that's not a uh, common staple of cold cannon, Irish style, but, you know, I'm twisted, twisted, Irish it. Deglaze. With some Guinness. We add a little bit of garlic powder. Not too much. It gives it a little bit of flavor. I eat. I think we're ready here. Shut off. Let's put some in. Yeah, there you go. Wonderful. I'm not going to put the whole thing, otherwise it's too much, but it's yummy. Cabbage, cabbage, and this wonderful meat. There we go. And now you're gonna add the milk. All right. A 
and this is the end product the end product lots of butter i added some more butter and i added some more cream and you know what i'm gonna even add more cream because the creamier your mashed potatoes the better your mashed potatoes is Here we are, the gold cannon. Mm. Oh yes, oh yes. If you're a mashed potato lover, this for you. And that with that corned beef and some gravy. Mmm, gotta sit down. I'm an old man. Cheers, Eringo Brock. Happy St. Patty's Day 2024. Cheers to our lads and lasses, take care.